Hey guys, I'm LB. And, uh... I've noticed some stuff wandering around. I, I had to take a break from that obnoxious challenge. And, uh, I've, I've found some stuff. So let's check it out. One nature, perfect and pervading, circulates in all natures. One reality, all comprehensive, contains within itself all realities. The one moon reflects itself wherever there is a sheet of water. And all the moons in the waters are embraced within the one moon. The absolute of all the Buddhas enters into my own being. And my own being is found in union with theirs. The inner light is beyond praise and blame. Like space, it knows no boundaries. Yet it is even here, within us, ever retaining its serenity and fullness. It is only when you hunt for it that you lose it. You cannot take hold of it, but equally you cannot get rid of it. And while you can do neither, it goes on its own way. You remain silent and it speaks. You speak and it is dumb. The great gate of charity is wide open with no obstacles before it. Young Cha Tashi, circa 700. I am standing on the threshold about to enter a room. It is a complicated business. In the first place, I must shove against an atmosphere pressing with a force of 14 pounds on every square inch of my body. I must make sure of landing on a plank, traveling at 20 miles a second around the sun. A fraction of a second too early or too late, the plank would be miles away. I must do this whilst hanging from a round planet head outward into space and with a wind of ether blowing at no one knows how many miles a second through every interstice of my body. The plank has no solidity of substance. To step on it is like stepping on a swarm of flies. Shall I not slip through? No. If I make the venture, one of the flies hits me and gives me a boost up again. I fall again and am knocked upwards by another fly, and so on. I may hope that the net result will be that I remain about steady, but if, unfortunately, I should slip through the floor or be boosted too violently up to the ceiling, the occurrence will be not a violation of the laws of nature, but a rare coincidence. These are some of the minor difficulties. I ought really to look at the problem four dimensionally as concerning the intersection of my world line with that of the plane. Then again, it is necessary to determine in which direction the entropy of the world is increasing in order to make sure that my passage of the threshold is an entrance, not an exit. Verily, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a scientific man to pass through a door. And whether the door be barn door or church door, it might be wiser that he should consent to be an ordinary man and walk in rather than wait to get all the difficulties involved in a really scientific ingress or result. Arthur Eddington, 1927. How am I supposed to end this? Clearly I have to stand like somewhere like here, but I don't understand where do I go. This doesn't count as an end. That doesn't count as an end. This doesn't count as an end. That doesn't count. None of it counts. I'm worried that this here is something that you can only get at the beginning of the game. Like, unless there's a way to turn this gate back on that I'm not aware of. We could try it, but I don't think that it'll work.
Is there a way to turn this back on? This might- this might be something you can only do at the beginning of the game. Because if so, that sucks. How would one turn this back on? Okay then. Try again with this. Okay, so I can't stand back here. Let's get started back here, even though this is the wrong angle. Where am I supposed to go, though? I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. But, yeah, this episode I just want to look for secrets, basically. I'm also really tired right now, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. This will be a relaxed episode. Not much puzzle solving, just looking for secrets. saw this before. This is new. I always wondered why, if there was any point to come up on the roof here. because I see smudges. Yeah, it's glass, but I can't walk on it. Weird. These kind of look like something I could draw on, don't they? I don't know, maybe this game's starting to make me see everything as something I can draw on. Right angle... Hmm.
Where's- where's the... obelisk... for this area? Is the windmill on this guy? Doesn't look like it. Wait, where is the windmill? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I bet the, the monolith for it is over- somewhere over here. I keep switching between monolith and obelisk. Hey, wait a minute! I can stay on it longer? How does that work? Let's try that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I got the only one you could get on the windmill. Uh, no, not this way, please. Hopefully the laser doesn't get in the way, right? Laser grows faint or something. Oh, I see. I think I actually have to change which direction it goes as well. So I think this, the one that I've already done is... ...this. If I cross over this, and then back onto he No, that didn't work. Oh no no no, I have to go on to here? What is doing this do for me? Whoa! Teleported me. Yeah, well, this one's- I think this one's the one I've already done. Yeah, that one I already did. How would... How would? That's a question. How would? I like the sounds this makes. I 
think it makes these sounds when you're getting closer... I mean, when you're drawing a longer path. I know what I have to do. That the the tip of the blade is kind of slightly broken. I don't think we actually need to reverse the direction at all. I think we have to do the exact same thing we did, but even longer. These black things, I've already done these, I'm pretty sure. Unless maybe I haven't done this one. I thought I did, though. I think I did. I can check in a moment. Okay, we're getting close here. Bottom left. down here, and we wait for the other blade to pass by us, and then we go up on sort of one blade that we haven't touched yet. Yeah, I think that'll work. So far it seems to be working. Let's go up here and you know, check how how much of the uh, the black lines we've done. Yeah, we've done we've done all of it. Looks like.
Oh. There's actually a lot in the direction behind me. Can we do anything from the dog? This one. Maybe the side of the obelisk that I'm looking at doesn't actually indicate which direction to look for them in. Can't even do it from here, apparently. Huh, interesting. Man, look at the little particles next to the laser. That's cool. I've already done this guy. And this one, too. And this one, as well. We've done this. Oh, I don't think I ever noticed that there's a lady pulling the thing out before. We already do this one over here? Oh wait, I see a different one that we haven't done yet. Yeah, I don't remember doing that one. I was talking about this guy over here. Oh, I can't get up from here? Interesting. Yeah, we've done this one, but yeah, this one's a new one.
Okay, well, there's one thing I want to do before ending the episode. Loki told me about a triangle puzzle that I didn't know existed. Because, apparently I just missed it, like, multiple times. I've missed it, apparently. You gotta go all the way up the mountain to get to it, is the thing. Oh yeah, this actually has another solution that Loki found. So, you see how I clumped them together? He actually separated them. Which, I didn't know, even know was possible, but yeah, he separated them, and I thought that was pretty darn cool. He didn't know it was possible to clump them together the way I did. So that's kind of funny. Uh... Apparently it's up the elevator here, somewhere. I might have seen it and just forgot, but... It is like, one of the most basic triangle puzzles, so... Ah, here it is. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I never saw that before. Huh. Okay then, that brings, uh, actually, let me do this. That brings our total up to... 493 plus 67. I think that's it for this episode, guys. I'm gonna keep looking around for stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!